Welcome to the Silver Bullet Project. In this video, we're taking a 10-speed transmission, the 10R80 from a new F-150, and swapping it into our 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis. The ultimate goal for putting the transmission in the car will be to develop 10R80 support for our US shift controllers. This means that in the near future, customers will be able to use a 10-speed in their projects with our controller. We'll also be releasing more detailed videos focusing on specific aspects of the swap. Much of the information in the upcoming videos will be useful to any transmission swap, not just for Panther bodies. The first step was to remove the original 4R70W from the car. Since we're also installing a new exhaust system, we're removing the old system as well. Removing the crossmember proved to be difficult. It serves as a brace for the frame and was squeezed tightly into place. With a lot of hammering and prying, it eventually came out. Before we could put the new transmission in, we needed to make some modifications to the crossmember to accommodate the 10R80. This meant cutting a notch out of the top center and reinforcing it by welding metal plates into place. We're using a donor crossmember so we can keep the original on hand. To mount the back of the transmission, we used a kit from Stifler's. There were also modifications done to the wiring harness, bypassing the ECU so that we can connect our controller. We also needed a different flex plate to be compatible with the 10R80 and made a few modifications to make it work. Once the transmission was up in the car, we worked on adjusting the shift linkage using a center console from a Marauder. We also needed to swap the starter for one with a two bolt pattern to work with the 10R80, which is due to the new F-150 start stop feature. Then we finished up by installing the transmission cooler and cooler lines from a 2015 Mustang, a drive shaft from an Explorer, and the new exhaust system. It didn't take long to get the Mercury moving in limp mode with the 10R80. Now we move on to the software development to make it a real fast sleeper. Thanks for watching. We hope to have more updates soon as we move forward with developing 10R80 support. If you'd like to hear more of the details that went into this, check out our playlist of videos that explains each aspect in depth, linked in the description below. To stay up to date, Make sure to subscribe to the US Shift newsletter and to our YouTube channel.